absolutely crazy. Oh no, that's not good. There's some people to be quiet. I cannot stress enough, this is not a safari park. Is the rhino is friendly? Friendly. Or attacks people? Attack the people's butcher. Right? <laughs> so casual. Oh, that's a normal crocodile. How many times have you seen the rhino? Uncountable times. So it was baby. <gasps> that is a dinosaur. That's so cool. See, he's greeting us. Oh, still got to go. There he is. There you go. You can see him. This is truly remarkable. Never attack? Oh, this rhino. Yeah? This long time. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 Silvio. You again? I'll just go. Okay. Hey guys. Welcome back to Nepal, folks. We are outside of Chitwan National Park, also a town called Suraha, which is obsessed with this crazy animal, the one-horned rhino. I got a lead to come make this video a few months back when I was in the Philippines. Very excited about this idea. So Moshe, apparently there's rhinos, who engage in dominance fights in the jungle, lose and then take a walk of shame through this town. And the residents of this city, this little town right on the foothills of a national park where there's elephants, buffaloes, leopards, tigers, they just have to deal with rhinos. Just walking through their town. Walking through their town. <laughs> and apparently elephants and other crazy things. So we're here to learn about this. I wanna learn what's real, what's not real, what's true, what's false. This is right here, we're about to enter the national park. We're going to book a homestay right on the street where the rhinos apparently come and linger. We're also doing this trip with some amazing folks. We've been traveling across Nepal the last couple days with my Nepali homies. What's up, boys? Hi. What's up? This is Asis. Hello. We got Sonam. Where are, we, where are we now? Where are we? Where are we now? Where are we? I'm actually... We are <laughs> at Soraha. Soraha. <laughs> <Sorana. laughs> okay. And who are you? Sibu. Sibu, nice to meet I'm you. I'm here for a tour and you are my guide, so... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, I got upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, right now the mission is we're going to try to book a place, mm -hmm. preferably right on the street yeah. where the rhinos come to, because I want to figure out and I want to learn how this whole thing is affecting people's lives. I'm assuming it's bringing a lot of tourists in, but I also want to know what's real and what's not real, what's actually happening with the rhinos. So here we are coming into the national park. There's lots of wildlife, like lots of wild, uh, not wild, but water buffalo. And th this place is apparently home to garial, crocodile, elephants, leopards, tigers. It's like non-stop animals. You can see here the sign. Look at all of those resorts. What was said? Okay. You're saying that the rhinos that comes on the street, it's been taken to the conservation area. Oh. To the zoo or something like that. So it doesn't happen anymore? Yeah, it doesn't happen so. frequently, but maybe uh, if we are lucky enough, we can see them. I got you. But he didn't say anything about a specific area? No. Okay. <laughs> He rather he recommended his hotel actually. <laughs> <laughs> From there you can see a rhino on the open space. That oh, yeah. <laughs> From here? No, like we'll yeah. keep here and then we'll just have some pictures and all okay. that. We'll, we'll yeah. Alright, so something else that I didn't mention yet in the intro of this video. I made a contact, like a connection with somebody who lives here a little while ago on WhatsApp. And he sent me this video I want to show you guys. This was just a few days ago via WhatsApp. That, uh, even if it comes, then it's over here only. This area, like yeah, this street. Yeah, he also said that same thing. Like, it's been taken away and it's left inside the jungle. Inside the jungle. So this is the video I saw. The, the, this is that contact that showed me the rhino walking through the town here. But he's not answering me right now, so I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. it. Might be worth for us to just kind of walk around and interview, ask people and see what we can find. But there's an incredible view of Chitwan National Park. Wa wa wa. That's beautiful. 
That's a gotta go right there. Right here. That, that right? One? Yeah, that's look. Look Russia? at my camera. That's and a gadiel. That's, that's also, a gadiel also. That's also one, I think. Yeah, right? Mosh, look, a gadiel right there. I can't believe it. We ah, it's right yeah. there. So just behind, too, like literally three seconds from getting out of the car, there's a gadiel there, one of the most endangered crocodilian species on planet Earth. One of the most ancient crocodilian species on planet Earth. Like literally lived around the time of the dinosaurs. Incredible. It's just crocodile with a super long beak yeah there's another one just swimming this is crazy there's one there one there one there something else just swam it's literally gariel infested waters this is a few months ago right there's the rhino again just walking around the town is he is he from here yeah he's from here <laughs> is that something that people do here <laughs> Collect the rhino pee? <laughs> okay. Do you mind asking him how many times he's seen the rhino in his life? Okay, uh, my name is Susan Kargi. I'm a nature guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> you speak very good English. <laughs> so, how many times have you seen the rhino coming through here throughout your life? Every day. Every day they come here? Even today? Uh, cross the river, uh, in China, cross the river, on the road. Uh -huh. uh, also in the safari. And wh where is the best chance of seeing the rhino? It's like we just came here right now. We're looking for a hotel to book. I want to I wanna film and document the rhino coming through the town. Where would be like the best place to stay to make sure we could see it? Uh, not 100% not sure, but uh, sometime evening time, the rhino is walking. That area? Yes. On that street? Uh, this way. Does the rhino ever go like deep into the town? Town area also. You know, uh, uh, like a vegetarian, eat <laughs> the vegetarian. So the biggest question is why, why does this happen? What's the reason the rhino comes through here? Because there uh, are no area to cover the area. Uh -huh. That's why. He's like, no no space in there? No space. A lot of space. But rhino is coming to, uh, on the town because no area to cover. To National Park. Like no any fence and, and all those things he means to say that. I see. There's ah, because it's open. He it's can open, just come. Yeah. That's why rhino cross the river anytime. Uh, and he's, the rhino is friendly? Friendly. Or attacks uh, people? Attack the people's but uh, rhino... <laughs> <laughs> so casual. <laughs> Rhinos uh, uh, not uh, to uh, attack the people so many times. Uh, uh -huh. the Only few. Few times. Okay. But, uh, but some are friendly. Some are friendly. Some are and it's not it's not the same rhino. It's different rhino every different time. And also also forest the uh, in the forest rhino just come to out. Uh, so somebody told me a story before I came here. I don't know if it's true or not. I wanted to ask somebody who live here. Somebody told me that the rhinos, they have a fight in fight the jungle. It, yeah. And then the one who loses the fight, he come to the town. No, no, this... That's, that's not true? Not here. <laughs> the rhino fight, uh, the, or, or a small rhino or big rhino fight, the small rhino drone and the big rhino follow him to uh, area, cover to area. I see. I see. So... Cover the area also uh, met, met the meeting females. Uh, the most, I think the most important thing, like maybe people will watch this video who come here. What advice you have for people who come? Like, should you touch the rhino? Feed the rhino? No, or just, just run just, away? Just run away. Though. Run away. Maria, so get towards it. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. What's your name? Susan. Susan. Yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's a peacock. You said like a dinosaur? Fishing is not allowed here. And then. So, this whole area, it's not allowed to fish. I mean, like, fishing is not allowed here. And he, according to him, a week ago, one person, he was dead because of the attack of Garial or Magar March. Mother, mother, what is that? So, Gharial, it has long mouth. Right, very mouth, long mouth. Right? And Magar Mans, it, it do not have that much long, it has small mouth. It's just a normal crocodile. Normal crocodile. Like, ah, uh, and it's called Magar Mans. Magar Mans. Mag 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 that sounds like a curse word. <laughs> Mag Wait, Susan, I have a question, really important question. The Gharial, is it dangerous? No, mass mugger is dangerous. But if I, I'm uh, not, I'm not gonna uh, do it. But if I swim there, okay. Garia crocodile is uh, uh, always live in fresh water. Just eat the fish and mass mugger yeah, uh, uh, live everywhere, like a forest, like a uh, ah. lake area, like a river area. But the garia can attack person or no? No, but, they... sa but, but safety <laughs> he attack. For safety. Yeah. yeah. But he will not eat a human eat being. A human being. He can't eat a human being. 
For you, I think. Oh, that's a normal crocodile. Man. That's not a gadiel. That is just a wow. That is a big crocodile. Look at that guy. He came out of the water. Three of them, wow. Four. Holy one shit. Down, yeah. That's five in one shot. I didn't, I didn't think they were going to be so social. He caught it right there. Wow, dude, that's amazing. Holy shit, I saw the whole process of that. Did you get it though? I got, the, I got him swallowing it. Okay, the one that was banking the whole time, he just got excited. He's coming in now. We've been roaming around for some links on where the rhino might be. I've got a doubt that he'll come down this road today because there's so much construction here. But we found this place called the Rhino Residency. Looks like a big safari hut. We can find any leads on maybe where the rhino might come in today in the evening if it does come in. We'll be spending most of the afternoon outside looking for it, see if it comes through. I, Guyava? Oh, okay. N negotiating. <laughs> Wait, you say Gaida? Goida. Goida is how you say rhino? Yeah, right. How do you say elephant? Elephant, hati. Hati? Yeah. And tiger? Bak. Bak? Bak yeah. Bak, Bak is good. Bak. 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 Guai Gaida. 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 That's the rhino. Yeah. So when the rhino comes through here, he's the Chitwan Gaida. Yeah. Chitwan Gaida. Gaida. Yeah. We have our first clue, detective. Oh yeah, today morning, according to him. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> no responsibility on your end. According to him, yeah, he has even video now. We have video proof. No. So, Rhino just did poop over there. No. Can we can we touch the poop or is? Yeah, it's there, no? It's fresh. But fresh poop. Fresh poops on him? I think so. Okay, maybe if Moshe smells the poop, <laughs> we can we can find. Just hear me wait, out. Wait, hear wait, me wait, out. Wait. Hear me out. Maybe if we Moshe have four smells. Other contestants. Wait, listen. <laughs> no, none of you have not, a very good smell. None of us can quiet. smell the poop. We're all Asian. We're not allowed so to smell the poop. You're not Asian. Do <laughs> you're not. Oh, dude. The rhino is taking a shit right there. That happened right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, today, it. today in the morning. No, this one uh, ah. for twelfth in June. It's five. June twelfth. Ah, a few days ago. Yeah, two days. June twelfth, five fifteen a.m. Five fifteen a.m. Yeah, five five. Okay. Five fifteen a.m. So plan is we gotta smell the poop, Moshe, yeah, and then we can come, maybe we can trace morning, the direction. You come in the morning here like a five five fifteen. Five a.m. here. Yeah, and then you can see. Come here 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah. He come every day here 5 a.m. Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time. And he, and he if not if not here, then they come that way from they going at night in the village. Uh -huh. They eat some crabs and vegetable to the village. So and if we go that way to the village tonight, yeah, we can see him. This gate in the museum. This gate is open. Uh -huh. and they will come to here, and sometimes they go that way. Sometimes go that way. Wait you know what time? Usually. In the evening? Yeah. Evening about 9, 9 30, 10, like this. They come. Yeah. And I can just follow him, he won't attack me? Yeah. They're, sometimes they're going in the market also. Highway. I mean you look excited. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, he's gonna do some shopping. Maybe he wants carbuja, who knows? <laughs> Maybe okay, but sometimes you have to be careful. It was animals we don't know. Right, sometimes we keep a distance. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Oh no. Oh no, you're the owner here, New yeah. Style Yellow Chili Restaurant. Yeah. I appreciate your information. You gave us good information now. Thank you. You've given me some hope. So you think every almost every day comes? Yeah, almost every day. Okay. Big big rhino. Big rhino. Alright guys, that's I mean that's more information than we're able to get anywhere else so far. So I'm excited. The, there's the elephant table in this side. Uh -huh. There's the park area. Yeah, we went there already. This easy to they will come. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes they cross by wild elephant. Okay. This uh, elephant, the tux they broke for the wild elephant. Uh -huh. They have a two tux. 
They broke in the wild. The rhino. Yeah. No, wild ah, elephant. Ah, the wild. Oh, the wild elephant came and broke yeah, the tusks yeah, of the. Broken in tusks. <laughs> <laughs> the elephants are some psychopaths. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> this I didn't get to introduce. This is Samantha. Yes. We've been talking the last few days. Yes. We got in touch via a mutual friend who watches my channel. Yes. And you're a local. You live here. Yes, yes. So Samantha promised me that he's gonna help us try to make a nice yes. video here. Yes, sure, sure. <laughs> so we're in the mission. I, yeah, I tell you guys, this video has been really important to me. Somebody told me about this rhino. So I'm asking. I'm curious. You've been living here your whole life. Yes. How many times have you seen the rhino? Mm, many times. Many times. Yeah. Almost every day? It's almost every day. Has he ever been like aggressive to you or attack you or something no, like no, that? No. Never. No, no. Have you ever touched it before? Yes. You can touch? Yes. I wow. Yeah. So where do you think where do you think will be our best chance to see it today if we look for the rhino? I think we'll come to the road. Just this area. Yes, uh, at the evening time. Evening at time. 7, 8 PM. Okay. Almost daily. Almost daily. Yes. Okay, so it seems like we have a mission of just staying in this area yes. and just waiting. Okay. Cebu, you're seriously you're the best, man. You, you are you number mean? one. Yeah. I'm taking you with me. We're going to do detective work around the world, bro. Definitely, definitely. Don't worry. <laughs> you need I'll to be the Mossad. The Israeli Mossad needs to hire Cebu yeah. <laughs> to do undercover work. <laughs> so, okay, we're doing the detective work now. I don't know, folks. Okay, I... Okay, listen. This is a democratic country, right? Yeah. We need to vote. Okay, Everybody vote if Moshe needs to smell the shit. <laughs> this one is yes, yes. I'm, I'm okay, good. listen, Moshe. It's not just me. Yeah. It's not just me. It's a, a democratic vote. And I'm gonna do this so that everyone sees your hands. Let's smell it. There we go. There we go. That's plenty enough. Shit. Do the start of the YouTube channel. Go, go. I, I don't, honestly, I don't want to come into this bit. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I have no. Maybe when I was 22, I would have done it. I don't want to do it anymore. But you think this is actual rhino shit? This looks like this looks like elephant poop. No, no, no. This is the rhino shit. I asked him. He is so. This is the rhino dung. Fresh. Today. Damn, boy, we gotta come here at 5 a.m. tomorrow before the safari. <laughs> I didn't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got a wide angle lens. <laughs> Look at all that fresh rhino dung. You want to ask him some questions? Yeah. Okay. Hi, sir. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Hello, sir. Nice What's your name? My name is Ishwar. Ishwar. Yes. This is your, you have a resort yeah, here? Yes, Ah, the Safari nice Booking Homes. Yeah. So I'm just, well, I'm making a video about the rhino that comes through here. I wanted to talk to people how it affects their life mm -hmm. and what's the experience like to have a rhino walk through your city mm -hmm. or your town. Uh, how many times have you seen the rhino? Well, uncountable time. So many times. Every day. Every day. Probably every day. Probably every day. Probably every day. And what's the experience like when, you, have you touched him before? Has he been aggressive to you? Yeah, I have done touch because there was some... Little baby rhino, uh -huh. a few days before. Uh, oh, no way. They keep here to taking care uh, of the rhino's baby. Uh -huh. And um, sometimes this baby was walking on the street. Sometimes I have been touched. I have a photo also. Really? Yeah. If you want to see. I can I see? Yeah, can I see the photo? It's in your office? Yes. Okay, let's go. First, first, ask everything. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Sorry, I got excited. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Has the rhino ever been aggressive to you? Have you ever been Sometime attacked? When they have a little baby uh -huh. and when they are mating time, that time they could be aggressive. But normally when they're walking on the street or grazing themselves and during that time, they, they will be not aggressive. Uh -huh. If you touch and if you make them disturb, if you put something, uh, if you throw something to them and during that time they what could if you do... feed them do people feed the rhino well not actually because this is the natural jungle uh -huh. and they, they just leave themselves they live themselves. so if you try to give it like a banana sometime, it won't eat sometimes when the mother and father they date in the jungle if they have little rhinos baby and there is empty and see office they they will taking care of them to baby wow little baby sometimes they keep here and they just making big and after after when they you know able to live themselves and they just Keep in the jungle again. I understand. So this nature office will take care of baby rhinos. Yeah, yeah. And so when the rhinos get older, they know to come back to this area because this is where they grew up. They feel yeah, safe here. Yeah. And they, ah. they, keep, they, keep, they grow up, and then yeah. when they are when they're active to live by themselves, then they live inside. Yeah. But sometimes they come back. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes, this, sometimes they come in the village to graduate. Okay. This is starting to make a lot of sense now. 
Because I'm trying to understand why this happens. Do you know why this happens? Why this rhino comes here every day? In the village? Yeah. Well, I think uh, they want to eat something uh, fresh, and, you know, some grab, something like that. So, like, they steal the food from the market? Yes. <laughs> sometimes people, they feed them, sometimes they just give them. Ah, so it's a food thing. Yeah. Okay. Can we go see that picture Please. of your... No problem. Where are you from, sir? Israel. Oh. And you? I'm from Nepal. Ah, nice. <laughs> Nice. My name is Karbuja. 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 My brother. Karbuja line works with everyone. Hi, it's a universal. People like it. So this is your office. What is your office called? Namaste National Park Guide Office. You've got a nice safari truck there. It's really nice. Yeah, thanks. When when was this? March first. I think it's a few months. March first. Yeah. Okay. Walking on the street. Oh, you've got lots of pictures. Wow. It's never scary for you when you see it? Well, uh, actually, if you disturb them, they could be dangerous, you know, while they are walking themselves. If you are doing, if you're not doing anything for them, not disturbing and throwing something to them, they can, they are, they will be not, you know. That's so, that's so amazing. Yeah. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. Because I know rhinos in Africa are generally pretty aggressive dangerous. very dangerous because they also they don't have good eyesight so if you disturb well, them they well, get scared and, and, and the rhino from here is 100 rhino it's under, and different there's, there's, endangered rhino uh, and, uh, yeah. it's a street okay he's walking front and rhino is following him yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you're just alone with the rhinoceros huh yes normally they walk alone <laughs> that's so crazy that's such a crazy thing that happens only here Are you, do you do you know that Suraha is world famous because of the rhino street thing? The rhino and Royal Bengal tiger because they are the endangered species so So you could just walk next to the mom rhino with the baby like that? No problem, not aggressive. Yeah, not aggressive. Wow, that's look how cute the big ears. Look at the little wibbly wobblies. Wow, that's You are a very courageous man, sir. <laughs> The lucky also. Very lucky. Very lucky. Also. He's very sonam. Right? Sonam means lucky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sonam? Yeah. Sonam means lucky. Okay, sir. Very nice okay, to meet okay. you. Thank you for the information. No and problem, we'll see you sir. around, okay? Thank see you so you. much. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, you just come in and have a look once, please. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I will touch. Hi, right, this is you touching the rhino. Yeah. Look. Oh, wow. Look. Ah. No problem. It doesn't <laughs> doesn't fight. Yeah, because no. it was baby. So. <gasps> that is a dinosaur. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. One hundred rhino. One hundred rhino. That's yeah. so amazing. Mm. I'm jealous. <laughs> wow. Well, hopefully we come back tonight and we yes, can see please. it. Yes, please. If you want to make safari, you can come here. Okay. Tomorrow morning, early morning. If you start the jeep uh, safari, maybe you will have chance. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome, sir. I thought it'd be a good point in the video just to say, I know I'm excited like a little kid. I don't necessarily condone going around and touching wild rhinoceroses. I just want to make sure that's a thing. I know I'm excited. I wouldn't do it myself. I wouldn't touch the rhino, but I gotta say, it, it looks amazing. It looks like a dinosaur when he's touching it. It's, it's pretty freaking cool. Samantha's like, hey, check this out. <laughs> wow. That's a baby also. Yes, baby. So you can touch the babies, no problem. Yes, you can. Wow. That takes balls of steel. I would not touch a rhino. I'd be scared to do it. Balls. You need balls. You need balls. Okay. Goat balls. Maybe like I told you on the way. I do not. <laughs> we should press the balls, and then you will. You will not only touch. You will walk with them. There, there was two baby rhinos staying here, and then they gave it to China as a gift. Really? The jungle walk is risky. Like it, it's for four hours. Mm. Yeah. For four hours. Why? Why is it risky? And three days. Like we'll uh, be walking inside the jungle inside and the jungle city national park we'll be walking over there ah and you camp inside the park you camp sleep in the park? no 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 no, no. it's like early back. in the morning at around 6 uh, a.m you will take lunch yeah over there but it's dangerous because the animals are yeah. there yes but my father has also got attacked from rhino oh when i was one years old wow while he was watching bird and from the back side a rhino and baby rhino come and attack him attack him It's very dangerous. No, you okay. can die from this. Yes. Nepal first hospital of animals. 
This one. This one. Yes. And they care for rhinos here also. Yes. Yes. Really. So are there when, any when are there any animals attack, in there right now? When rhino got attacked, mm -hmm. we'll bring here and cure about the rhino. What uh what attacks a rhino? When two rhino. Ah, oh, when they get fight. in a fight. Yes, fight. I got you. So this is Nepal's first animal hospital. Tiger cage. Yes, many to tiger. Wow. And this is open to the public. People can come no, and see. No, no. 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 You can see these murals too. The ecosystems that exist around here. The one horned rhino. These deer, little leopard cats, leopard tiger, and galial, which we've already seen so many of, which is crazy. Did you see the real? We saw like seven, eight. It was crazy. The breeding area. Yes. Whole squad. Whole squad. Road trip squad. Squad up. So is this an area where we can see rhino? They will come from here also? See, he's greeting us. He's doing namaste for us. <laughs> yeah. Actually? Really? Yeah. Ask him. Ainda? Namaste. Yeah, namaste? Namaste? Yeah. There was one hotel, Gaidala's, yeah. inside the jungle. Uh -huh. And now it has closed. Government had closed the hotel. Oh, wow. Because it is in the territory of uh, jungle. Mm -hmm. Uh, we should explain to you guys how hot it is here. It's, uh, we're all like sweating, like we're so moist. Come, let's go there and have a good view. Okay. All right, we're gonna try to get a better vantage point. I'm checking. Checking the sturdiness for us. Oh, there's a little bat. Let me see that little bat. Okay, well, if we're gonna see a rhino, we'll probably see a rhino from here. Yeah, we'll sleep here tonight. <laughs> well, we haven't booked the hotel yet, so. Uh, no, this is okay. We don't need to book it. <laughs> Crazy cool view from up here. Maybe wild elephant. Wild, wild elephant? elephant. Mm. Wow, it sounded like something was dying. I saw like three things running across. So yeah. I thought it was, but uh. I guess it was just peacocks. Let's wait. Let's wait for that sound again. Wow, that that sounded like something was dying. Have you seen tiger before? Yes. Many times? Uh, not many times. Sometimes. I have traveled many times in jungle, more than 20, 30 times. But I have seen just only three or four times. Wow. Dangerous, like encounter or like. Yes, encounter. But it's not dangerous in jeep. Mm. Crossing the road. But it's very rare to see it, no? It's very rare. Ah, that's a chicken. I think that's a chicken making that sound. The elephants here are used yes. for anti-poaching? Yes. Go to the jungle, look over there. For uh, poachers? Yes. Like for human beings? Yes. And then what do they do? Sourcing they... for a poacher, looking over there and going to the jungle. And then do they attack the people that are poaching? No, no, this, uh, this elephant. Go to the jungle, looking for if there is any poacher or not. And then if they find the poacher, what do they do? They will, they will be a people, they will be people, they will, they will source for that. Uh, they will give uh, inquiry to the police. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, and they will come and they will... Arrest or something. Yes, okay. Is uh, is poaching still a big problem here? Are there many poachers still? Uh, not too much. Not too much. Yes, but it is still a problem. It's here. still a problem. It's because I think uh, a couple of months ago I heard the news. Yes. Right? Two rhino. Two rhino were found there. Yeah. Uh, before, oh, really? Five years, six years, there was no any poacher. Uh -huh. Just a month ago, yeah. two rhino. So when they poach the rhino, they kill them for the horn? Yes. Yeah. yes. Only for the horn. Yeah. Only for the horn. Yeah. They don't eat the meat. No, they don't. No, no, no. They just discard the body yes. after. Yeah. And the horn, they sell it to China mostly? No, or no, no. anyone? Uh, anyone. 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 Yeah. It's very expensive. But you can also poach here, like the elephant's tusk. Yeah. There's pangolin, no, yes, in the yes, jungle. Yes. They all these animals exist here also, no? Yes. They use tail, uh, elephant tail for. Oh yeah. 
bracelet. Really? Yeah, yeah. elephant's tail. Yeah. For for a bracelet. Yeah. Yes. Black a one. A kind of bracelet. A kind of. That's here in Nepal or anywhere? Anywhere. I hear people yelling. There is football ground. Ah. <laughs> okay. You know, <laughs> when your brain wants a rhino, your brain wants a rhino. Yeah. <laughs> Anything starts, the peacock starts sounding like a rhino after a yeah. while. <laughs> Don't worry about rhino, Simanta says. All right, so no luck with the rhino right now. <laughs> we are descending in defeat for a little bit. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back here a little bit later. No, we are not allowed to come here now. Or not to this area, but to the street, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This area, we're done. This area we're done with. Maybe tomorrow morning. But we'll come back to the general area. See if we can find the rhino a little bit later. Did we somehow miss the sighting of the rhino? Was it here? Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> the black one. The black rhino. We were making that joke earlier. Yeah, we were. Don't make sounds. Okay. Rhino. Are you serious, Samantha? He's really here, Samantha? Oh, I see him. You can't see him on the camera. This may attack, okay? He may attack? Yes, he may attack. Okay, this one is wild and wild can, I, rhino. can I turn on my flashlight or no? Yes, sure. It's slowly, okay? Okay, slow. He's, he's right come, here. Don't worry, it will come outside in okay. the road so we can see easily. Okay, let's Let the rhino come outside. I can see the rhino right there. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go with Simon. <laughs> Completely wild. Yes, completely wild. And he may attack us. Yes, he may attack us. This rhino is aggressive one. See, if you guys can see, that's the rhino right there. Right in front of us. It's very hard to see it on the camera right now. My iPhone doesn't do a good job in low light. That's the body of the rhino right there. Hopefully when he comes out to the street, we'll be able to... When he's hungry, he may attack us. I got you. We, we must be careful about that. Unbelievable to think that there's a rhino right there behind us. And we're gonna, you guys are going to see it in a second, but I mean, once it comes out, I don't know how long it's going to take. But it's unbelievable. I can't believe we actually found it. I'm, I'm so happy. I can't believe we pulled this off. I didn't think we were going to see the rhino. Yeah, we'll, you we'll must be the best guy. We'll be right here. In Sonali? And then in no. so Soraha, for yeah. sure. <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys. Here's a picture I just took with my phone. There's the rhino. That's right in front of us right now. You can't see it. I'm using the low light pictures on my phone to try to. There he is. There you go. You can see him. He's just behind the bush. Does he stay here because he likes the food here? Yeah, good grass. Good grass from yes. here? And he comes to a different area every day? Yes, different to have to feed. To feed. To have food. Look at that. That is a really close encounter with a rhino. Hear the sound. This is truly remarkable. One of the cooler experiences in my life, away from tourists. I'm just in like some back alley in a touristy town. But. That's crazy, just getting to observe this rhino eating in peace. So cool. Sweating like fucking pigs right now. It's so hot, but it's amazing. Do you know if it's a male or a female? We should <laughs> No, say it to the camera. We should We should take his balls. If the rhino attacks us, it's because of Zebo. <laughs> So pretty much exactly where we interviewed the people earlier, by these big uh, pipes, the rhino came out. And uh, he's really only got one way to go, which is here. So we're just gonna wait for him to exit so we can show you what it looks like when the rhino's out here in the town. We're waiting for the rhino here. 
So you were saying, uh, Samantha, we were blocking his way, so maybe yeah. he'll come now. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, like someone just banged the tin over there uh -huh. to send Rhino this way. That's that's why before there was a noise over there. It's amazing to me that there's this level of relaxation. <laughs> like people are just having a coffee here or chilling and drinking. I'm itching. <laughs> I'm itching. I'm itching my leg. <laughs> but people are just like walking around town yeah. and there's a fucking rhino right back there. That's crazy. All right, Simanda, we're going to... All right. No rhino here, huh? We got like a whole rhino search squad going on right now. I'm trying to find this guy. There's a different way. Different way the rhino maybe went. I see a lot of people, maybe the rhino's here. See it? Oh, there he is. There's some people from the town. Can I get off the bike? It's okay. Slowly, slowly. No, no, no. no. Is it okay? Safe? I'm fine, okay? Okay. I just want to clarify, we are not in a safari park right now, we're in the middle of the town. Good one. Great one. Are you okay? Is it, <laughs> yeah, is yeah. it all right? It's coming really close. Unbelievable, man. This is so crazy. <laughs> this is so insane. I can't believe that it, I'm seeing it and I can't believe what I'm seeing at the same time. It's so big. And here it comes. He's waddling down the road, coming straight towards it. And you can see there's literally, these are residential homes, hotels. Not stress enough, this is not a safari park. Yeah. 
absolutely crazy. Oh no, that's not good. Simanta. Okay. Slowly and slowly, okay? So this like little town has just become a safari park. He may attack. He may attack. He may attack. Yes, he's telling that. This one is going through my home. <laughs> oh really? This is where you live? Yes. So what? Are you, what is he doing right now? What is he looking for? He's looking for food. Yes, he's looking for food. This will go this way. Through the forest. Yes, through the forest. We can't see now. Okay. Okay. It was good flim? Great flim. I just get off real quick. I just film him walking away. It's okay? Okay, okay. Just I'll stay away, yeah. The giant one horned rhino. And I'm just feet away from him, making his exit for the night. Look, rhino. Great rhino. <laughs> one horned rhino, black rhino. You want to hunt? No. Oh, okay. I, lo I love the rhino. Yeah, me too. Watching. I love the rhino. You live here? You're from here? Yes. How many times you see this rhino before? More than a thousand times. More than a thousand times. And safe or have you attacked you? No. Never attacked? I know this rhino yeah? since a long time. Wow. They used to come in the field, you know, every time. So, But this one is quite dangerous if you compare to another one. There is another one. It's very similarity. He has many cuts on his butt. Yeah, they fight with another rhino. That's because of fighting? Yeah. Wow. Video fucking executed perfectly. You guys are fucking amazing. <laughs> <That was> fucking <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you. You guys are the best. That was fantastic. Yeah. My brother, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Again, just to reiterate, there's the rhino, there's a hotel. Looks like he's just eating corn. All right, let's roll. I promise to show you rhino in the street. Yeah. And the promise is completed. The promise is not only completed, but executed perfectly. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that so much, Samantha. Uh, I, I just want you guys to know, Samantha is, we're strangers up until today. You know, we got connected by a friend of a friend. Yes. And I spoke to him on WhatsApp. I told him my vision for making a video. And he like, with him, with the help of him and Sibu and Sonam and Asis, like, we just made an incredible YouTube video, in my opinion, that really shows what's going on with this crazy thing that happens only here in Suraha. Like, this is a phenomenon that happens only here. All over the world. Only one place. Only one place. And that people is Suraha, know. Chito National Park. And you can come visit. Yes, you can come visit. You I can see the real rhino in the street. I will leave uh, I will leave Simanta's information down below in the description so you can find a way to do this. But we're gonna go have a dinner now to unwind from the adrenaline rush of making this video. We're going on a freaking safari. It's a long one too. They're so cool, man. Holy shit. <laughs> what a cool animal. <laughs> Oh, he's got some birds on his back, the boy. Mm -hmm. Fucking around with whole birds on his back. All right, so it's early morning now, around 6 a.m. here in uh, Suraha. We're about to board a safari because we want to sort of experience the other side of seeing animals in the wild. Just in this view here of the river, we've got three gharia, an Asian elephant, 
and the one horned rhino walking in the distance. Unbelievable, just in one view. And we haven't even left the town. We're not, like We're still in the middle of the town. So Simanta and his family actually have a tour company here to yes. take uh, people out on safari. I was curious to ask you, the rhinos, when we go into the jungle, yes. when you see them, usually you see only one rhino or many rhinos together? Mm, maybe many, many. Yeah, they... Sometimes only with one rhino, with baby. But sometimes they will gather in a group. Yes, not, ah. not too much. Sometimes, sometimes. two or three mm -hmm. in the lake. So yeah, we're going to go out today and try to see the animals in like the yes. wild habitat through there, through the jungle. Chitwan National Park. Chitwan National Park. All heritage sites. Mm. I'm really excited. Wow, he's massive. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Not <laughs> possible. Not possible? They will eat me? Yeah. Oh. Not good. Are you our are you our bamboo guy? Welcome to my boat, okay? Look at that guy right there. How are you doing? Uh, you like, uh, how's he doing? Uh, That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It's literally right there. Two two steps away. Amazing. One of my dream animals to see. It was the most accessible animal I think I've ever looked for in my life. <laughs> it's so cool. You usually have to search for so long to find an animal you really want to see. <laughs> 